Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I have my 23 and 2023 project pan. This is not my eyeshadow one. I've already done that update. This is my incredibly late like beauty and makeup item one. I self-explanatory am working on 23 items. At the first update I finished three items. Um, they are here. I'm not going to go through them again but I just wanted to mention that so you're going to be hearing an update on the other items today. And we should go ahead and jump into it since there are so many of them. I have several that I've actually hit goal on. Uh, just another thing I wanted to mention, my intro went up on January 3rd. My first update was on February 27th. And then today is the second update and today is the, as I'm filming it, it is May 19th. So it's been a little while. Now, uh, first up, we have my fragrance mist from uh, Bath and Body Works. It is done. It was brand new at the start, so up here at the intro, first update, and then second update, we are done. Granted, it's been almost three months, about two and a half months since my last update went up, so it should be done, but it's done. Then we have a little glycolic acid toner solution from The Ordinary. This one I knew was gonna be slow and steady, but if I want to finish it by the end of the year, I realize like, oh, it's just the second update. <laughs> not a big deal. No, 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 Dylan, if you're not gonna update monthly or at least regularly, like whatever this update schedule is, you gotta step it up because it's literally, it will be June before I know it, which is half a year gone. And um, that's not half a bottle of usage. So I've really got to step that up. And I actually think that my skin's kind of getting to the point where um, whatever reason, as we hit this warmer weather, I feel like um, I need to like, I'm getting more oily. So I wonder if something like that will help. So I'm going to actually try to start using it. I was using it, trying to use it like once a month. I think I'm going to try to step it up and use it twice. Not once a month, once a week. I think I'm going to try to use it twice a week and see how my skin reacts to it. By the way, I am not going to be keeping track of what number we are on because that's just too much. So next item is my Blythe vitamin or vital treatment nine essential seeds toner and this is done today there's a little bit like dripping around but i can't actually get it out of the, pro the packaging and it's like super hard packaging so i'm gonna call that done today and i'm very excited to see have that done and see that go although i really really enjoyed that product and kind of am interested in trying to find something similar to it or potentially replacing it one day uh next item we have a coconut milk what is this? It's just a coconut oil serum for my hair. And at the intro, we were here. First update, we barely moved it, but I did a really good job of using this the past couple of months. So not bad if I do say so myself. The Between the, the intro and the first update, there were two months. There's just one extra month in here. And I feel like, you know, that's, that's more than, I stepped up my usage a little bit, is I think what I'm trying to say. So I don't think I'll have this done next time, but I think potentially, I'm gonna try to push to have it done by the end of September, see how I do with that. And then we have a little serum, no, this is a cold pressed rose hip oil from uh, The Ordinary, and hopefully brand new at the intro. So as you can see, intro, just blew it, first update, and today we're here. I'm getting a little bit better at remembering to use it at night. I'm supposed to put it on at the very last thing before I go to bed and I sometimes just forget and also I think I also like kind of choose not to do it sometimes because if I've washed my hair like today like tonight I'm not going to want to put oil on my face because I touch my face and touch my hair a lot at night and I'm worried that it's just going to make my hair I'm going to have to wash my hair sooner so sometimes I hold off when I'm like I just don't want to wash my hair tomorrow um I don't know I don't know that's maybe not a good excuse but it's my excuse next product is the Cora's uh this is the little yogurt cleanser that they have it's i believe a travel size or a smaller size so we have made some good progress intro first update second update um almost done with it and i really think i can have that done by the next update so hopefully we'll see that gone then i know i'll have this done also by the next update should have had it done today but just kind of fell off recently. This is the Strivectin little eye con concentrate for wrinkles. I kind of use it all over my face because I have wrinkles all over my face, not just my eyes. Then I have the Apple Butter Lip Mask from Noonie. I done! Look at that. I love like a good empty jar. Like it's so satisfying. So that's another one done. And another exciting one that is also complete is this little vitamin C peptide Olay cream that I was using on my neck because I 
hated the smell of this product. I just, mm -mm -mm. I wish, I, I thought I had used one from Olay before that was unscented. And so I, when I bought this one, I was like, oh, it's going to be unscented again. No, it, oh, it's, it smells awful, like fake, fake, fake oranges. N another empty we have here is the Beekman Milk Primer. This is the, like an SPF primer. I even like pulled the lid out and like used it all the way up. So it is completely done. One that's not done, but I'm making some steady progress on, although it kind of isn't enough. Like, I did better the first update. This is the Ulta Beauty Moisture Primer Spray. I need to get back into using it. There's no excuse. It, if I Another one that if I want to finish by the end of the year, I really got to step my game up. So I, I'm kind of curious. I don't know if I'll... We'll see. We'll see. That, that one will be a real challenge. Then we have a couple primers here. This is from YSL. I'm very close to finishing this, but I have not. I need to like get a better tool to scrape this out because I'm finding that like I, I'm getting annoyed by how often I have to like scrape to get enough product to do my makeup at this point. So I, I kind of like sometimes skip using it, which makes no sense because I'm, if I'm that close, I need to just use it. Um, this is one Makeup Forever. I have not used it yet, so no progress there. My um, Urban Decay Primer Potion that I use kind of like as a concealer precept. Hopefully you can see there the wand is coming out pretty clean and I am, I've used a good bit of it because I can squeeze up to about here now before product starts to come out. So I'm really, really excited about how much I'm using. Like, it's a good bit. Uh, another one that I think I could definitely have done by the end of the year, but I won't, I don't want to like get too overzealous and say that it'll be done in the next like couple of months because I think it might still be holding on. Now this guy here, I'm just, I just don't think to use it right now. I just don't care enough to <laughs> conceal my hairline, which is this product's intended use. So I think my goal was going to be to use it up, but I think I'm going to have to amend my goal to just hit pan on it. I need to take it like a baby step because it's just not happening at the moment. Then we have another empty. This is my e.l.f. little under eye powder. Completely gone. I took the sifter out, everything. So that one's another one that's done. My next one is a pillow plump from Soap and Glory. Um, I'm making decent progress on this one, but definitely not done yet. There's a good air bubble in there too, but um, I think actually if I really pushed it, I can get this done. If I update in a month, it won't be done. But if, if I continue my streak of updating every two to three months, this one will hopefully be one that's gone in that time. I'm looking down only three more products to update you on. This one is my little lip liner. Um, I am finding that it's hard to motivate myself to use it because I realize it's a little light these days. I want a little bit more like a deep liner to kind of give my lips a little bit more definition. I find like it just kind of matches my lips. So it seems, it feels like an unnecessary extra step. So I find that sometimes I'm unmotivated, but I need to just do it. Just do the unnecessary step, get it done. That way I can get rid of this and consider it an empty. That would be a real... Why can't that be enough motivation for me? What's wrong with me? Then I have a powder in this Natasha Denona palette here. And hopefully you can see there that I have hit pan, which was my goal. So this one is another one that is done. I'm very excited by that. And then the last item to update you on today is my Stila little foundation. And I realized I did not mark it. Let me find my pin. Okay, so here we go. It's an airless pump, so it goes up. And we have intro, first update, and second update. I notoriously just use foundations really slowly um, and I would say that like oh maybe by the next update it might be done because we're really we're kind of like steady chunking it here but uh, I also just introduced a foundation with SPF in it and as we're going into like the nicer weather where I can really get outside. I really think I'm gonna switch to that, try to finish that, and I'll come back to this later. Um, now, if I hit a day where I'm like not planning on being outside, I'll wear this, but I do anticipate that this one will slow down some, and just one of those things where I'm like, I'm just slow at using foundations. I have no business owning as many foundations as I do, considering how slow I am to use them up. I'm like, I use so much concealer up, because I over conceal, but, uh, or I like to use concealer versus foundation, but I really need to try to figure out a better system for not only this foundation, but in general, my foundation collection. So that makes seven empties as of today, seven more additional empties as of today on top of the three from last time. So is that 10 empties? That's pretty exciting. So that means that the next update that hopefully will go up and I'm hoping to do it in two months, um, I'm hoping that 
you know, I only have 13 items at that point to update you on and I'm hoping to have a good number of those also emptied or completed by that time. Not all of them for sure. Um, and once we hit the next update, if I do like hit goal on a good number of those, then probably what I'll do in the future is combine this project with the update for my 2020, 23 and 2023 eyeshadow project pan because hopefully by that time I'll have dwindled down to using just a few palettes as well. And so we'll kind of consolidate those updates so that they're not too boring. But yeah, that's it for today's video all of my empties. Very exciting. I will see you in the next one. Bye.